Hello everybody, I am the gamer Ace Cannon, and welcome back to my channel. It's so great to see you again. So today I'm going to be doing my sixth episode of Ace in the Ring, where in this series I will be showing you some of my wrestling highlights. So let's get started, because it's game on. So in the last episode, I took on two bonus challenges, a battle royal and a singles match against the gatekeeper. Now, just in case you haven't seen those matches yet, I will put a link to the fifth episode of Ace in the Ring in the description below. So please make sure to check that video out. So a month after my last match, pro wrestling was unfortunately put on hold because of the worldwide pandemic. However, I did promise everyone that I would make my return to the ring by the end of 2022. And I made sure to keep that promise, because I made my return to HPW in a six-man tag match, where I teamed up with Shane Silvers and Van Landen, also known as Young and Reckless, to take on the Careless Dynasty. Joshua Sin... Christopher Clarence, and the first level in the HPW game, Marcus Gold. Now, for those who don't know what a tag match is, basically a team of two or more wrestlers battles another team. So even though there are different types of tag matches, this is more of a traditional tag team match. You see, one competitor from each team enters the ring, while the rest of your team is outside on the apron. Now, if you want to legally get your partners involved in the match, you must tag them in. You are allowed to do a double team move, but you have less than five seconds to leave the ring and let your partner take over the match. However, that doesn't stop certain teams from using cheat codes to get any advantage they can in the match. If any member of your team beats their opponents by pinning them or getting them to submit, then your entire team will win the match. Now, before I show you this match, I want to give a very big thank you to Hamilton Pro Wrestling and its owner, Rip Impact, for allowing me to use the following footage that you are about to see. So let's go back to HPW's Wreck the Halls 4 on December 3rd, 2022, where not only did I compete in a six-man tag match, but I also made my return to HPW. I hope you enjoy it.
that was an incredible night because not only did I make my return to HPW, I got to compete in my first tag match. Myself and Young and Reckless defeated the Careless Dynasty. And by the way, I really want to say thank you to Shane Silvers and Van Landen for choosing me as their tag partner. Thank you again, guys. I really do appreciate it. I also got to debut in my brand new mask, which you saw during my entrance. And there's going to be a lot more fun designs that you will be able to see in future shows. But most importantly, I want to give a very special thank you to all of the amazing HPW fans. Even though it's been over two years since I competed in an HPW ring, I really did appreciate all of the fans cheering me on that night. So once again, thank you to all of the HPW fans for continuing to support me. It means the absolute world to me. Okay, so the next match I'm going to show you is a gauntlet match. And this type of gauntlet match is where two competitors are in the ring, and when one wrestler gets pinned or submitted, they're eliminated from the match, and a new wrestler will take their place. And this will continue until every competitor has entered the ring, and the last wrestler standing will win the entire match. Now, there were five competitors in this match, and I was the fifth and final entrant. So, let's go back to HPW's We Love Wrestling 3 on February 11th, 2023, where I competed in a gauntlet match. I hope you enjoy it.
Well, as you just saw, I won the match. But unfortunately, Aaron Uno attacked me from behind. I mean, was he really that upset that I beat him fair and square? Or is he more upset that he tried to use a cheat code and he got caught by the referee? Either way, him attacking me after the match was completely unnecessary. But one thing I don't understand is why did El Guapo Muerte attack me as well? I mean, we didn't see each other at all in this match, and yet for some reason he has a problem with me too? Like I said before, attacking me after the match was completely unnecessary. However, I do want to thank Ashton Shade for helping me even the odds. But after that night, it's been revealed that Aaron Uno is the second level in the HPW game. And I'm going to make sure to defeat him. Okay, that is all I'm going to show you for today. But don't worry, because now that I'm back wrestling again, there will definitely be more episodes of Ace in the Ring in the future. But once again, I need to give a very big thank you to Hamilton Pro Wrestling and its owner Rip Impact for allowing me to use the footage that you saw today. And just in case you want to learn more about Hamilton Pro Wrestling, I will put links to their YouTube, Instagram, and Facebook pages in the description below. So please make sure to check them all out. Alright, I want to thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed it. Make sure to like the video, subscribe to my channel, and follow me on both my Facebook and Instagram pages. I will make sure to put links to both of them in the description below. And once again, thank you so much for watching, and I will see you next time.